Hey everybody, this is Allison. This is going to be just a little bit different video than what I normally do, but I just wanted to uh, let everyone know what happened. And since we all deal with the mail service so much and get packages in and always go into the post office and packages out, I just thought I wanted to forewarn everybody. I am actually in the office where we do our business because we're self-employed. And this is where I work. And the computer is very, very important to our business. And I had that computer there and the whole setup. I've had it since 2005 and run Windows XP on it. And on that computer, I always, I had two firewalls set up on it. I had a web groups, a web group spy sweeper set up on it. I had an adware program on it and I was very, very good. I had this stuff set up to run every single night in the middle of the night. When I come to get on it in the morning, I always took care of it and got rid of stuff that wasn't supposed to be on there because we had so much on that computer. I had all of our business since uh, 2000 on there and uh, I had over 5,000 pictures of different vacations that we had took and all our cruises and going to Disneyland and just so happened I had all those backed up on disk and a lot of them were printed out but I probably lost maybe a thousand pictures and what happened is um, Wednesday evening I got an email and it said from USPS and it said click receipt to see who sent it and when it will be arriving crazy me went over here and clicked it extracted the files and opened it up and as soon as I did it I knew what I had done and it didn't take five minutes for the computer to to go crazy and it's my fault I did it and I guess because it's a USPS on it I opened it and I was thinking UPS the the delivery and then after I clicked on it I'm like how would I how would the post office even have my email address but it was just one of those impulse things that I'd done because I had just got the mail and I had the post office on my mind. But what happened, it was a virus and it was a very, very bad virus. And when it hit, it, it hit everything. It tore up completely everything that I have. And I had not backed up probably in the last eight months. So everything, everything is just gone. And um, my nerves are just completely shot over all of this. And I uh, carried it to Best Buy thinking they would be able to fix it. And as soon as I told him what it was doing, he knew what I was talking about. He said that it is, is a new virus that's out there. It's only like a month, month and a half old. And he said they're having between 60 and 80 people a week come in Best Buy with this virus. And usually there's nothing that you can do to, do to fix it. He was going to try to fix it he was going to charge me $199 to fix it and since I bought the computer in 2005 I have no clue where my original disk that came with the computer at and then he, he said that was going to cost around $400 and then to top that off he said it's probably hit everything in there all the hardware everything that was in there and I would have to pay for it up front and he couldn't guarantee me that he could get my files or anything back so this was just very heartbreaking, and I just wanted to let all y'all know, do not open anything that you see that comes from the USPS. And I thought I would just share this video because I know we all deal with the mail service just about on an everyday basis. Do not open it, delete it, block it, whatever you need to do. And then on top of that, I was running XP on that computer. Our two laptops have Vista on it. Now this one has Windows 7. So now I'm gonna to try to have to learn Windows 7. And I always got all my email through Outlook Express. And Outlook does Outlook does not give you their program for free anymore. It's $199. So now I'm trying to find a new way to get my mail. So this virus has really, really hit me hard and hit our business hard. And it is just so heartbreaking. But I wanted to share that with you because I don't want anybody else to have to go through what I just went through. It is terrible. And it's my fault. I opened it. I extracted it. And I did not back up. 
And I honestly can't even remember the last time that I did back up. And that's my fault, and I should have known to have done that, but I never had a problem. So I never backed up. So everything's going to be backed up from, from this day forward. So this is my mess that I have. And that's my old computer in the floor there. There's the tower with the virus in it. So I just feel like crying when I look at all this. So now I've got all of this mess to try to get situated. And I just finished up our taxes a few days ago, and they're all gone. So now I'm all back on square one with that. So one good thing, did get a new printer. I bought a computer as a bundle that had everything in it. So it's a Lexmark printer. It's a good photo printer. That's the only good part out of it. But I just want to share my bad experience with you. And please, if you see anything coming from the USPS, delete it, block it, do whatever you have to do. Just do not open it. So I just wanted to share. Thanks for watching, and have a great weekend. Bye.